Hey guys, this is kind of a follow-up to the last video, so there was more going on than just that. I mean, obviously, those two things happening. I don't know why that I said the MoFo was a worse situation, the, the, but the Monopoly price drop was really a much worse situation. That made me much, the MoFo just kind of made me sad, but the Monopoly was what made me angry, honestly. But anyways, um... There is, um, what's the right word for it? I don't know, but anyways, um, there's a, I guess we'll say a family pet, not my pet per se, but my fiance's pet, but, you know, I still really cared for this pet, and, uh, that pet was very sick, and I, I know I had the stress of that on my mind too, and today, that pet had to be put down, so... Yeah. So that stress on top of, you know, just getting raked through the coals. Um, and also, oops, you, and what you wanted is gone. They kind of, I don't know, it was just, an, it was enough. And also, I haven't worn my mouth guard in about a week. And you'd be like, huh? This might sound insane to you guys, but you, hear me out. This might be the only time I really talk about this. I have to wear a mouth guard to prevent my, me grinding my teeth in my sleep. When I grind my teeth, it puts pressure on my head and it causes massive headaches and it causes anger. So the longer I go without wearing the mouth guard, the worse it gets. And it's been about a week now, I can't find it. I don't know where the heck it is. I always set it on the table beside me when I wake up. And then I, I'll take it to the bathroom to clean it. And it's neither place. So I don't even know. And because of my ADHD, I don't remember things like what happens. You know, it's just... I have no idea. So, I'm going to have to like... I think... The only thing I can think of is maybe one of the cats... Tried to play with it and knocked it under the bed. And I'm going to have to like... The bed is so heavy. I'm trying to have to, I'm going to have to like flip that up. I guess try to find it under there. But if it's not under there, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to, like, go, like, one by one every every single thing here and, like, try to find it. And, like, that's going to be a nightmare. So there's that. Um, yeah. I'm afraid. Uh, I'm not really afraid, but I haven't checked Reverb yet to see. Uh, what Alto Music said, because, like I said, guys, prices do drop, but dropping a price that massively, less than the, the same, ba the same day, really, the same day that you bought it, like, you could have had the courtesy to say, hey, we just dropped this price so much, like, we're gonna give you that part back, or, oh, we're gonna offer you, they could have at least offered me, like, a voucher, right, say, hey, We'll give you that ninety dollars, uh, you know, at, towards your next cent because we, you know, we feel bad that we just lowered the price that much. But they didn't contact me at all. They were hoping that I wouldn't notice. They were hoping that I was just a regular consumer who buys stuff and doesn't really pay attention. No offense, no offense, but most people they buy things and they don't go look back the next day if the price dropped. I'm kind of a freak like that. I'm a freak. So yes. Um, I hope they do by the right. I'm not saying they won't. I don't know. They might. They might do the right thing. They might not do the right thing. Um, I, I can't. I don't have the reverb set up on my phone. So. I'll have to go check on my computer. When I go to bed. So that's that. And. Uh, I don't know. Just, yeah. And there's some other little things also that upset me yesterday. But those aren't even worth talking about. But, you know, the culmination of all that happening back to back was just enough to send me over the edge. So that was that. But it doesn't matter. Like I said, I... I probably shouldn't have bought two cents back to back anyways. My wallet's going to thank me. So I don't, you know, I don't mind. But I do mind that whole price 
debacle thing. That's just, like I said, that ain't cool. They could have waited like a month to do that out of respect, you know. But they're like, all right, we got one sucker to buy. Now we can lower the price. We hooked a sucker. Let's lower it. That's just what it felt like, right? It felt like it felt like when you go into like a gas station and there's no prices and they, they'll charge you like double for something just because they can. They think you're a mark, you know? And then the next person you, you see behind you, they bring up the same thing and you, you see them charge you half. Things like that will, will just, things like that are just not cool. Of course, it wasn't half they charged me, but you know, that's what it feels like. I feel like I'm just a mark that got taken advantage of. So, there we go. I'll see you guys later. Um, I'm still going to be doing the demo with the uh, Behringer K2 whenever I get around to it. I've just been so busy. And so many things around here. I'm still, like I said, dealing with court filing things for my grandmother's estate and I've been very busy with that as well so that plus work plus you know a lot of other things I barely have any time to dedicate to this channel and my work so yeah it is what it is and I also have to take care of my grandfather on top of that so I have basically no time I'm not even lying when I say this this is going to sound insane to you guys. It's literally going to sound insane. You're not even going to believe me. I promise you, you probably won't believe me, but it's true. I can't remember the last time that I went, like, on Netflix or Amazon or Crunchyroll and watched something. I've been so busy that I haven't even been able to watch, like, one episode of a show in months. That's how busy I've been. That's just... And I have, and also haven't gamed either. I did game one day. And I spent some time with my fiancé. When we played for just a little bit. But... That was some time we had together. But other than that... I haven't, I haven't done anything. Like... Recreation wise. You know... I've just been so busy working on the pedal things. When I'm not working on the pedals, I'm either taking care of my grandfather or at work. I don't have free time and, you know. Yeah. And I'm dealing with other, my own struggles with, you know, my own things at the same time as all that. So, yeah. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um... Next video I do will probably um I guess be one of the Behringer K2 videos or it might be I yeah it'll probably be the Behringer K2 video one of those all right well I'll see y'all later and um I guess that's it. I think there was one last thing I wanted to say, but, you know, I always forget I end these videos, and I'm like, ah, oh, I meant to say something. So I'm just going to think real quick. Let's see. Can't really think of anything. <clears throat> Nothing I can think. Yeah, I can't think of it. But I, I will hear something. I'll just say I mentioned it. I mentioned it in the comment section of the last video. But like, you know, something similar happened in my with the with the ball in my court, right? I had a buyer buy a synthesizer from me, and a couple days later, I was I was going to do a Fourth of July sale, but um, I made sure to not put the synthesizers in the sale. I only made it on my pedals that I've done because that would just be wrong to that seller to think, wow, they could have waited a couple extra days and saved, you know, a few bucks. That just wouldn't sit right by me. I would not feel right doing that. So 
I did not include those in the sale because, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't even. I don't. I don't even think I was gonna put them in the sale anyways. But you know, I was fifty fifty. But even if I was going to put them in the sale, after that, definitely would not because it's just wrong. It's wrong. I think. You know. Same thing. If if one of you guys buys my pedals and then the next day I put them on sale for a massive amount, I would feel so bad about that I would, I would literally feel so bad about that i would probably like send you an extra free pedal in in the in the with your pedal but just because i would i would feel so guilty doing something like that to you know one of my customers so that's just me i know most um sellers on reverb well not most but there's a lot of sellers on reverb that are just companies so there's no soul behind it individual you know individuals and then buying from a company is different so yeah well, I'll see you all later. Um, I'm, I might make an update video on the, um, the situation. <sighs> or I might not. Or I might just include it, you know, as a short, you know, like a YouTube short, just to keep it short and sweet. So, yeah. Or I'll see y'all guys. Um, the next, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to do the core. I was thinking about doing like medium type demos, maybe like 20, 30 minute demos with each of the pedals with the Korg. Well, it's the Korg clone of the uh, MS-20. But what I'm going to do instead is since those are all one of one pedals, um, I'm just going to keep, not worry about them. I'm going to put more focus into the Fuzzy Love. And I'm going to um, do like a demo of that. That's probably over an hour. Now, as you guys know, there's going to be two main types of the Fuzzy Love. This could be the regular and the extreme. I've already decided. I've done more, you know, testing of the circuit. I've already decided that I'm just going to bypass. Well, not bypass. I'm just going to not hook up a gain knob. Because not having a gain knob gives me just a little more gain. And I just really like how that sounds with this pedal. This pedal to me personally. And I'm the one building it. You know. Sounds best with maximum gain. So. Um, yeah. I got I got four of them that I've worked on yesterday. Well not yesterday. No was it yesterday? Oh, yeah well, a little bit yesterday that are close to done and but i have to i'll probably have to wait until about wednesday to finish them up because i just don't have enough time in my days before work because i have so much to do before work that um yeah i already made so what i'm what i'm gonna do is they're gonna have a faux knob so they'll still have their volume knob but the gain knob will actually be like a dummy it'll be set to max and you can't move it and the led will actually be mounted inside of the knob and it'll be like lit up through the top of the knob instead of having a separate hole for the LED. Because since the knob doesn't have to move anyways, it'd be kind of interesting to mount the, um, the, the knob. So I'm gonna maybe do something tongue in cheek with that knob. Like, you know, name it. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet, but I'm going to name it something funny. Like, you know, I, this is not what I'm going to name it exactly, but I'm probably, I thought about naming like that knob something different on each pedal just for fun. Like, it's going to be set at max, so something you can't lower, right? So I'm like, I might name it on some pedals like awesomeness, or um, I might name it like, you know, I'm thinking of another thing like uh magic or like, you know <laughs> Um You know, just other funny just tongue in cheek things like uh maybe you might even name it love or 
character or heart or just other funny just little little things that um you would want set to max anyways just as just as a little funny kind of easter egg give each one their own little their own little name on that i thought that'd be kind of funny but yeah the volume knob will still function as normal but gay dogs being bypassed sorry i was yawning but bypassing the gay knob is a double whammy actually it's a triple whammy one is it sounds better because you get even more gain two is now i have a more convenient spot for my led and three now there's more room inside the pedal so it'll be much easier for you guys in the versions i do make battery powered to put in a battery and take out the battery without like messing up the wiring because the ones I have built now are so like compact, like so um, packed in there that they can be difficult to put the battery in and out. And you got to be careful how you put it in and out. That's the main reason I I um, made them a little bit cheaper and put the disclaimer is just because the battery situation, putting them in and out, there's barely any room. You got to be careful what you do so you don't short circuit the battery and yada yada yada. So yeah. Now, when I if these pedals do stick around, when I move to the larger cases, I might, because I, I I might add back a gain knob, but I have to work on it a little bit to make it have like more range than it has currently, because currently the range on it is so minimal that it's not really worth it. And also, the particular sound of the fuzzy love, the way, at least with the, especially the extreme. It just sounds much better with a gain at max. So, yeah. We'll see, like I said, going forward with the bigger size pedals, what I'm going to do. But the small ones... Ooh, ooh you didn't hear that. <laughs> but the small ones are... Uh, yeah. Gain knob deleted. But I do have one little bit of good news. Um, I found my pink LEDs. They were missing, but I got them. And, yeah. I have kind of a a funny idea for the next pedal, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to execute it because I need a very specific color LED that I don't even know if it exists. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil the color, but it's a very it's a color that you would not ever. It would be like the last color you'd ever expect for an LED, almost. Right? Almost. But like, let's think like, you know, it can't be black because there's not black light, right? Unless you call it like actual black lights, but that's like purple UV kind of thing. Uh, it's not that. It's, but it's, I'll just say it. Um, I was thinking of trying to find a brown LED. I don't know if such, a, I don't think such a thing exists. I, you know, maybe if you had like, an LED that combined a red, orange, and yellow LED all in one at such like a microscopic level that it blended the light where the human eyes couldn't detect the individual LEDs in there. Maybe something like that would be possible, but like the complexities and it, like that, I don't think anyone would make something like that. But I'm going to, I'm going to look into getting a brown LED. And um, if you remember what the next pe petal is, you're thinking, oh my god, I know what he's going to do. If you know what I'm going to do, guys. My god. But I don't think I'm going to be able to find a brown LED. So if I can't, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. If I can't find the brown LED, I might just get more of the pink ones. Because they're pretty cool. Alright, well. This went on long enough. Just wanted to give this follow up. Um, yeah. Also, uh, while I have y'all here, the um, the large. Oh yeah, sorry. When I make these, I'm probably gonna make them. They're not gonna be all the same. So the goal is. 
There's 20 of these, right? I want to make half of them the extreme, half of them the irregular, and then I want to make... Sorry. Maybe half of them battery-powered and half of them wall-powered. Um... Yeah, I was going to do the experimentation with the wall power yesterday, but a lot of things happened. I didn't get to it. So, yeah, I'm I'm hopeful that the wall power situation will work. The only thing that would make it not work is if the way the circuit is, if it in, just introduces too much noise. You know, I know, ironic, right? But if it introduces too much noise, then I'll have to avoid it. But we'll see. Because there are little, <sighs> you can add a few components to like isolate noise out, but there's already so many things going on in this pedal the way it is. I don't want to have to add more to it. Even though it's such a simple pedal, there's just so little room in those cases just by the way I build them. So, yeah. But when I have maybe my larger pedals, that might be something I think about doing. We'll see. All right, I'll see you guys. Thank you for watching this again. I know I can be ranty, uh, but yeah, just wanted to explain the situation to you all. Um, and don't forget that uh, this is easy, but it's also hard. So like if you're thinking about getting into circuit bending or building pedals, so go for it. Just know it's, it's, It'll be rough at first, but like once you know, get into it, it'll be fun. All right, I'll see you guys.